Welcome to the Stimulus Update series from Daniel's Brew. It's early morning on Friday, July 3rd, 2020. My goal for each update in this series is to provide you a quick and easily digestible segment of news on the next stimulus check and government stimulus efforts. I post updates like this twice a week, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any important news that I share within this series. So today we're gonna to cover three things. First, the extension to the PPP program. Secondly, a new interview with President Trump this week where he confirms that he wants even more direct stimulus money to go to the American people. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that. And insights from the June jobs report that just dropped yesterday. As I updated you guys last time, the Paycheck Protection Program was slated to end on July 1st, which was this past Wednesday. But on that day, the House of Representatives just passed a new bill to extend the deadline for this program to August 8th. Now this is great news, and the Senate has already passed this bill previously, so the only thing that now remains is for the President to put his signature on this piece of legislature for it to become law. And once that happens, more small businesses can now apply to receive a forgivable small business loan through this program, just like the 4.8 million that I already have. And these loans can be used to help these businesses pay for wages for their workers, rent for their locations, and utility bills to keep their operations running. If you'd like more details about this Paycheck Protection Program, check out my previous video here. In an interview with Fox Business this past Wednesday, President Trump was asked about the next stimulus package and getting more direct money to the American people. Here's what he had to say. Let me start with phase four and what might potentially come later this month. Another round of direct payments for individuals. Do you support that at this time? I do, I support it, but it has to be done properly. And I support actually larger numbers than the Democrats, but it's gotta be done properly. Uh, we had something where they wanted, where it gave you a disincentive to work last time. And it was still money going to people and helping people. So I was all for that, but we wanna create a, a very great incentive to work. So uh, we're working on that and I'm sure we'll all come together. You want the direct payments larger or the uninsurance benefits larger? I want larger? the money getting to people to be larger so they can spend it. I want the money to get there quickly and in a non-complicated fashion. So that sounds really positive, right? Well, let's just point out a couple of key things that he said. First, when asked if he supports direct payments, he said that he does and that he supports even larger numbers than the Democrats. Now, it's hard to know exactly what numbers he's talking about, but given that the question was referring to direct payments, one can assume that Trump meant that he supports an even larger number than the $1,200 stimulus check proposal in the HEROES Act that the Democrats are in favor of. The next thing to note is that Trump continued to repeat that the next stimulus package has to be done properly and that he wants to make sure that he incentivizes people to go back to work. And this is consistent with the perspective that the other Senate Republicans have been sharing for the past month. You see, what he's referring to is that there's a lot of sentiment out there among the Republican camp that the additional $600 of unemployment benefit that people have been receiving on top of their standard unemployment checks is just too much, and that it actually demotivates people from looking for work because they're seemingly earning more money being unemployed than at their jobs. So what Trump is saying is that we need to make sure that we strike the right value so that as we help these people, we still encourage more job seeking in the market. And speaking of jobs, yesterday morning, we had a really good jobs report that came out showing that the US economy had added 4.8 million jobs in June and that the overall unemployment rate has declined to 11.1%. Now, both of these numbers were much better than what economists had predicted. We were expecting about 3 million jobs to be added and the unemployment rate to decline to about 12.4%. So given this, the president had a quick press conference to discuss the results. To just announce the spectacular news for American workers and American families and for our country as a whole. There's not been anything like this, a record setting. It was just put out that the United States economy added almost 5 million jobs in the month of June, shattering all expectations. I was watching this morning and the expectations were much lower than that. The stock market is doing extremely well, which means to me jobs. That's what it means, jobs. Today's announcement proves that our economy is roaring back. It's coming back extremely strong. Consumer confidence has risen 12 points since April, and six-month job expectations hit the all-time and all-time high. So this is a really good sign that the overall economy is starting to turn around. And the stock market received the news positively as well, with all three major market indices, the Dow Jones, S&P 500, the Nasdaq, all trading in the green yesterday. Now, the other thing to note is that a lot of Senate Republicans have been waiting to see how the economy would perform in June before discussing how much more stimulus the American public would need in the next phase and whether or not they would even approve another round of stimulus. 
stimulus checks. But it appears that Trump's sentiments are holding steady in his desire to give the American people another large direct stimulus payment, even if the economy is showing signs of recovery. If we look at his past position on stimulus, it seems to be that he really wants to reinforce the recovery of the economy with another direct payment to the people to ensure that this momentum doesn't lose steam. And even though we still need the Senate and the House of Representatives to align on the next stimulus package later this month, with President Trump's endorsement, I think we can assume that a second check would be approved at the end of July. So all in all, the economy seems to be at the beginning stages of a rebound, and it looks like the second stimulus check might be approved by the end of July. All great news as we enter the 4th of July weekend. So that's it for today's quick and easy stimulus update. If you found this information useful, please hit that like button for me so that we can get this video in front of more viewers like you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more future updates in this series. Thanks again for joining me today, and I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend.